Hey, what's up guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today we're going to be doing an Egyptian God deck profile. So I'm really excited for this one because this deck is absolutely crazy and is really consistent at bringing out the Egyptian God cards from Slifer, Obelisk, and Ra, which is super cool and even incorporates some of the new support for the Egyptian God Ra, which is really cool to actually see how consistent this deck can actually be to summon out those amazing monsters. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and so you can come part notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down the description below. We have all sorts of awesome words, guys, like in your name, shirts from every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your patron along with test hand. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing a single copy of Slifer the Sky Dragon. So this card is extremely important for the deck because you want to play all three of them in this particular build. But basically what this card does is all of your Egyptian gods are going to require three tributes to normal summon or set them. Or you can't normal set them, but you can only normal summon them, which is kind of interesting. And this card's normal summon cannot be negated. And when this card is normal summon, cards and effects cannot be activated either. And then once per turn, during the end phase, if this card is special summon, you send it to the graveyard. This card gains a thousand attack and events for each each card in your hand and if a monster is normal or special summon to your opponent's side of the field face up in attack position that monster loses 2,000 attack points right off the bat then if its attack becomes zero you instantly destroy the monster which is really cool of a card effect to be able to use with Slifer we then play a single copy of Obelisk the Tormentor Obelisk the Tormentor is a really important card for the deck too and it's probably the most consistent big beat stick in the deck because Slifer depends on what kind of monsters you or what kind of cards you have in your hand. And Raw is a little bit weird about how you have to get its attack points up by paying life points, but Obelisk is consistently at 4,000. But what this card does, it requires three tributes to summon it. And then when this card is normal summon, uh, cards and effects cannot be activated and it can't be targeted by spell trap or card effects at all. And then once per turn during the end phase, if this card was special summon, you send it to the graveyard and then you contribute two monsters to destroy all monsters your opponent controls. And this card cannot declare an attack the turn it was activated, which is a really good effect just to be able to blow board. We then play two copies of the Winged Dragon of Raw. The Winged Dragon of Raw is pretty good in the deck because the winged dragon raw has the most support in the entire build which makes it probably the arguable best one for the moment but definitely comment down below and tell me what your favorite one of the three is my personal favorite is actually slifer out of all three of them but what this card does is it can't be special summon it requires three tributes to be normal summon and it can't be set this card's normal summon cannot be negated and other cards and effects cannot be activated when this card is normal summon and then when it's normal summoned you can pay life points so you only have have a hundred left and then this card gains attack and events equal to the amount you paid you can pay a thousand life points and then you can target one monster on the field and destroy it which is a pretty good effect too we then play three copies of the Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode. So Sphere Mode is really good because it helps you out your opponent's boards because if your opponent has three monsters on the field, you can tribute all three of them to summon out this card. It does count for your normal summon, but during the end of the next, or during the end of the end phase, um, or during the end of the turn, then this card's control switches. So like if during your opponent's end phase, they have to give this card back to you, and then it has the ability that your opponent cannot target this card for attacks or by card effects either and you can tribute this card to special summon one winged dragon of raw from your hand deck or, or hand or deck ignoring its summoning conditions and if you do its attack becomes 4,000. so it's a really good card to actually put in this deck to be able to summon the winged dragon of raw a little easier we then play three copies of raw's disciple raw's disciple is really good to summon onto your side of the field because when it's summoned you can special summon two raw's disciples from your hand or deck and they cannot be tributed except for the tribute summon of a slifer obelisk or raw and they cannot be special summon or you can't special summon monsters except by the effect of Ra's Disciple, which is a really not the greatest effect because it locks you into that, but at the same time, it's really important to just get these out on the field and then combo it with a card like Card Advance or Ancient Chant to be able to get you another one of your Egyptian gods onto your side of the field. We then play three copies of Guardian Slime. So Guardian Slime is a really good card in this deck too because it helps you get out your copy of your Egyptian God Slime onto your side of the field to be able to go into all sorts of crazy plays. And it's just an overall really good card in this deck because if you take any effect or battle damage, you instantly get special on this card from your hand to your side of the field. And also, you can quick effect make this card's defense equal to the monster that's attacking this card and then during the damage calculation only. And if this card is sent from your hand or field to the graveyard, you can add one spell or trap from your deck to hand that specifically lists the Winged Dragon Raw in its text, which helps you get to your Ancient Chant, which helps you out 
out a little bit to be able to get your Egyptian gods onto your side of the field. We then play three copies of Reactor Slime. So Reactor Slime is really good too because during your main phase you can activate the effect special summon two slime tokens to your side of the field and also you cannot normal summon or special summon for the rest of the turn except for Divine Beast Monsters. During the battle phase, quick effect, you can tribute this card to set a Metal Reflect Slime from your hand or deck or grave um, and it can be activated this turn which is a really good effect just to be able to get your Metal Reflect Slime on your side of the field as quickly as possible to go for your Egyptian God Slime uh, to be able to get its effects off. We then play a single copy of Plague Spreader Zombie. Plague Spreader Zombie is so I can stack the deck. It's from my last build too. It helps out a lot with stuff like True Name and Rank Up Magic the seventh one to be able to get its effect off to be able to stack the deck again with those cards and be able to know exactly what you're going to hit which is super nice. We then play three copies of Scape Ghost. Now Scape Ghost is a card that I just didn't want to let go of in the with all the new raw support that came out because it's still a really good card in this deck because it has the ability that when it's flipped face up you can summon any number of black sheep tokens to your side of the field level one zero zero which helps you out with a lot of link plays and also helps you that if your opponent has like say for example three monsters on their field and they attack you and you flip the scape ghost and you summon five tokens and they attack into two of the tokens then you can still on your turn summon slifer obelisk or raw to your side of the field by tributing those three tokens that you had left over or you can link summon if you want to link summon with those tokens as well which is super helpful for the deck so playing copies of scape ghost is still really good in the deck and it's still a pretty good option to play an egyptian god deck so let's get into the spells guys because that is it for the monsters so for the spells we're going to be playing a single copy of foolish burial foolish burial is really good in the deck because it helps you get your copy of plague spreader to the graveyard as quickly as possible it's just an overall really good card we play a single copy of monster reborn because monster reborn just helps out the deck a lot to be able to get you additional cards on your side of the field to get plays off in the deck one copy of rank up magic the seventh one so rank up magic the seventh one is a ridiculously good card in this deck because it has the ability that when you draw it for your normal draw phase you can activate it and then special summon one of two cards you can either special summon number 101 and then immediately overlay it with c101 or you can special summon number 107 and immediately overlay it for c107 so basically you have two targets in your extra deck to go into with this card which is super nice and being able to stack the deck is really easy in the deck with cards like I said like card advance and using stuff like plague spreader zombie to be able to stack the deck it's really easy to be able to use this card in this deck which is why I play it as a one of we then play a single copy of terraforming because it gets us to our one of or two of field spell which is two copies of mound of the bound creator now you can change this out a little bit if you want to where you can play one um you can play three bound to the bound creator if you don't want to play the one terraforming i just do it this way because it thins the deck a little bit where if i draw into the terraforming i can drop the terraforming and add mound to my hand so it makes it a little bit less it's kind of like playing a 39 card deck a little bit where you're not having to like draw so much or you're not having to draw into like multiple copies of mound like you can actually use terraforming to grab it and be able to just have more plays but basically what mound does is level 10 or higher monsters cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects which is all of your you know slifer obelisk and raw and also it has the ability that um if it destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard which is one of your egyptians then you uh the player who controlled the monster that was destroyed takes a thousand points of damage and when this card is destroyed on the field you can add one divine monster from your deck to your hand which is any of your copies of slifer obelisk raw and sphere mode we then play a single copy of blaze cannon blaze cannon actually gives raw like good effects which is really good um blaze cannon is really really good in the deck because it makes raw unaffected by your opponent's card effects it makes it when it attacks um then you can tribute any number of monsters to increase raw's attack by the attack of the monsters you tributed and after damage calculation all monster your opponent controls are sent to the graveyard which is really cool to be able to just board wipe your opponent with raw attacking like this is what raw should have been uh, we then play a single copy of Millennium Revelation. Millennium Revelation is really good in the deck too because you can uh, send a Divine Beast monster in your hand to the graveyard to add a monster reborn from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And then also you can send this card to the graveyard to be able to revive one of your copies of your Egyptian gods with a um, with a monster reborn, which is super nice. Um, which is just an overall really, really good card. And then during the end phase of the turn, this effect was activated. You must send the Winged Dragon of Raw you control that was special on my monster reborn to the graveyard. But it's really good just to be able to get your raw out of the graveyard with this card. 
So I like playing it as a uh, one of in the deck. We then play three copies of Ancient Chant. So Ancient Chant is really, really, really good in this deck. Uh, Ancient Chant, what it does is, is you get to add a Winged Dragon of Raw from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And then if you do, you contribute some in one monster during your main phase in addition to your normal summoner set, which can be Slifer, Obelisk, or Raw. It can be any of the three of them, which is really cool. And if you tribute some in the Winged Dragon of Raw using this effect, then the original attack of that monster becomes a rhymed, combined original attack of the monster tributed to summon this card, which is pretty cool it's like a better double summon in the deck because it gives you the ability the only time you're going to want to summon more cards like if you open up any of your egyptian gods like if you open up slifer obelisk or raw any three of these and then you also open up raw's disciple as well you can pretty much normal summon raw's disciple and then get out three copies of it. And then if you open up Ancient Chant with Raw, you've essentially got Raw on your side of the field, which is pretty nice. And it'll instantly come out at 33, which is really good. And it can be an OTK maker with that particular lineup, which is why I play it at that particular uh, ratio. It's just, it's really nice to be able to just tribute summon instantly. And then we play three copies of Card Advance. Card Advance is really, really, really good because you get to look at the top five cards of your deck and then place them on top of your deck in any order. And then you can tribute summon one monster in addition to your normal summoner set as well. This deck does a lot of that where you're going to want to tribute summon one additional time or normal summon one additional time during your turn. But this card really helps out with your copy of Rank Up Magic because if you see it coming, you can put it on top of the deck. And also you play three copies of the True Name. because So True Name and this is really good together because... Basically what you're doing with this is this is a two card combo because what it does is is the true name has the ability to declare one card name and excavate the top card of your deck and if it's the declare card you get to add it to your hand then you get to add uh, then you get to add to your hand or special summon one divine monster from your deck otherwise send it to the graveyard which is really good because basically card advance, what it does is it lets you stack the top five of your deck and then you activate this because you already know what's there. You get to add or special summon one of your three Slifer Obelisk or Raws to your side of the field, which is really good to be able to combo these two together. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So with the traps, we're just playing three in the deck, and that is three copies of Metal Reflex Slime. This is all you really need. Basically, what this does is it helps you go into your copy of your Egyptian Slime. Basically, what you do with this is you activate it, and as soon as you activate it, you special summon this card to your side of the field. is an Aqua-type Water Level 10, zero attack, 3,000 defense. And basically, you tribute it to summon out your copy of your Egyptian Slime really easily because basically when it's on your side of the field, you just have to tribute a Level 10 Aqua Monster on your side of the field to be able to instantly special summon this. So you have actually two targets for this so you have actually the egyptian slime or the guardian slime and you have the copy of your metal reflect slime as well so you have six targets total to actually summon that out which is super nice so that's it for the traps guys and the main deck let's get into the extra deck so for the extra deck we're going to be playing three copies of the egyptian god slime so you got to play three copies at least two to be able to get this deck to work just right so basically what this card does is it must be special summoned by uh, or special summoned from your extra deck by tributing one level 10 aqua monster with zero attack and this card is treated as one or three tributes for the tribute summon of a monster and it can't be destroyed by battle and your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attack and your opponent cannot target this card with card effects and any monster you control except for Egyptian God Slime, which is really good because it basically protects all of your monsters on your side of the field. So it's a really good card to be able to just instantly get out your copies of your Slifer Obelisk and Raw. We then play a single copy of C107 and 107 because you use Rank of Magic the seventh one to go into both of these. Really good cards, just really good beat sticks. With C101 and 101, you basically again just use these to go in with the copy of Rank of magic so these cards are really good as one ofs each because you want to be able to use these to go into that particular play we play the same copy of double a zeus because if you go into any of these and you attack your opponent and you do need to board wipe you can go with double a zeus and be able to just board wipe and for the link monsters we're going to be playing quite a few link monsters because the deck basically focuses around them we're playing a single copy of access code just to be able to board wipe your opponent because it can give you multiple pops depending on the attributes you have in the graveyard one copy of unicorn to spin stuff one copy of phoenix to pop spells and trap ivy mascarena because it can go ip into your copy of unicorn relinquished anima because it can gobble up monsters a single a copy of link rebo because it can also help you out a lot in this deck to be able to go into link rebo with your uh goat tokens and then we play a single copy of alamirage as well because if you normal summon any cards you can just instantly link them away if they have less than a thousand attack for alamirage which can just help out a lot in the deck so 
That's it for the deck, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely tell me what you think of this deck down in the comments down below because it is a super fun deck to play with, especially for nostalgic. Like, when you summon Slifer against your opponent, like, even if you lose, you've had a good time. Like, I'm going to be totally honest with you. If you summon Slifer against your opponent and you summon Obelisk or Ra against your opponent, even if you don't win, you still had a good time. Like, that's that's my logic about it because they're just so cool and so nostalgic to summon to your side of the field and they're such overall really good boss monster so anyways guys this is dark Home duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell next you can come part of the notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down in the description below and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys